We got shirts on sale. Express your evolution and starter Pokemon love by buying an evolution family shirt in which one starter shirt? Link will be in the description below. With every new generation, we get a new set of amazing legendary Pokemon along with the region's pseudo-legendaries. With the announcement of the Galar region, I would like to do some speculation on what we may see as a pseudo-legendary. With the region being based in the UK, it really opens up the possibility for some really cool dragon-like pseudo-legendary Pokemon. And with so many myths about dragons coming out of England, we have a lot to choose from. These are in no real order. Now with this video, it is only going to be me guessing at the possibility. I have seen some of the rumors floating around, but I still want to make my own guessing, so please keep the comments down below respectful. With every region, we end up with a new pseudo-legendary Pokemon, and only in 3rd gen we had two being Metagross and Salamence. I am in no way saying that it is not possible for us to get two pseudo-legendaries in one region, but I am saying it is very unlikely. Five out of the eight primary typings are also dragon type, and that is what I believe this generation's primary typing is going to be. Like, don't get me wrong, I do like Tyranitar and Hydreigon, but I really feel it's going to follow the pattern before, with dragon being the primary typing. I'm also going to say that I feel the catch rate of 1% will stay the same as well in this game. Before we start off this list, I'm going to mention a few types I thought would have been good, but I just don't really see them fitting in this game. The first being a Dark Electric type. It would have been a really cool idea to play off the idea of the Industrial Revolution and Steampunk aesthetics that we have seen with some of the cities in the game, but it just beat out by a type combo I saw as a stronger combination. The next is Dragon Fairy, which would have been a really cool typing to see since the only Dragon Fairy we have now is Mega Altaria. Again, I feel that it wouldn't be a good typing fit for the game. Now, I really can't find anything with British lore, but with the rumor of armor evolution, it makes me wonder if we're going to get a dragon steel type. Think about it. We have a new form of evolution. Maybe it's a hint at the pseudo legendary. Maybe the leak in a way is right, but instead of the steel snake being the legendary, it is the pseudo legendary. I mean, the British Industrial Revolution did kick off in 1820, so it could be a nod to that. Maybe we find this in the industrial city on the map. Maybe there is an odd factor that we as a player will have to explore, and as we walk through, we can come across a lot of different types of steel type Pokemon. If it is a steel snake, I I do hope it doesn't have any legs. I think this would be a cool concept for a still type Pokemon. With how many dragons are slanting tales of King Arthur or even Celtic lore, why not have a cool dragon ghost legendary? This could also add to the cool aspect of having ghost Pokemon with bones in their designs. Other than Duskull and Alolan Marowak, we don't have any ghosts with bones. Maybe as a player, we first encounter its pre-evolution in a graver that has the bones of dragon Pokemon buried there from a great war. These Pokemon could have fallen in the war with the Kalos region, and we are led by an NPC that told us by the story of the ghost dragon that haunts the graveyard. Its first form has a few bones that we can see, but when it evolves later on, we see even more bones. With this pseudo-legendary, maybe we can even pull from the wyvern style of dragons, which is native to British mythology. Game Freak did say they were going to try something different in this generation, so we'll see what happens. Now, a lot of people want a Kelpie as a legendary. But hear me out. What if we get this as a pseudo-legendary? I got a lot of those comments calling for a Kelpie on my legendary video, and I agree. It's a cool idea for a Pokemon, but I don't think it would be a legendary. For those who don't know what a Kelpie is, it's a mythological creature from Scotland. In the legends, it traps people on its back because it looks like a horse, on land, and then drags them into the water. You can guess the rest from there, but its water form doesn't look like a horse land form. Picture something like the 2007 movie Water Horse, yet 100 times less friendly. In a way, it looks like a Plesiosaurus, so maybe we run into this Pokemon Pokemon, or the lakes are in the middle. Maybe we have a marsh area by the water that we can run around in and find the pre-evolution. Like most pre-evolutions, it's adorable, but gets tougher as it evolves. So we do have Dragalge, but Dragalge's primary typing is Poison, not Dragon, and there is a slight difference in this. What if we get a Dragon Poison typing based off of the Dragon of Loshi Hill, a myth that was chronicled in 1888. I also do apologize if I butchered the, uh, the Hill pronunciation. The story goes, a knight. His name is Peter Loshi, and his dog was sent out to slay a dragon. Its name was Nunnington, who was able to reform itself after it was cut into pieces over time. Kind of like Frieza was in Dragon Ball Z, but we'll get into that later. So after fighting this dragon in his new armor, he kills Nunnington, but is covered in Nunnington's poison, which his dog looks off him and they both die. If that is the case, the player can encounter this Pokemon in a field with a large amount of poison types around it. Maybe this pseudo-legendary actually is a problem for the region because they spread their poison over the crops, making it harder for the farmers to get a good yield. So the player is asked, to see what they can do to help. I could also maybe see this Pokemon being a little bit of a troublemaker as well. Mm -hmm. 
So this was a hard one, and I keep going back and forth between Dragon and Fairy and Dragon and Dark, but I think a Dragon Dark would be more appropriate for the Gala region. Plus, I do really like the Dark typing as Embryon's kind of a mascot. This can also pull from British mythology coming from the Bistern Dragon, and its myth after the knight kills the dragon, where the dragon then turned into a hill. But this encounter drove the knight mad. What drove the knight mad was a whisper in the dark, where he went back to this spot where the dragon was slain and died. What if we run into this Pokemon into the hills? Over time, this Pokemon could have the new rumor ability for dark typing, being able to lower the special attack, kind of like Intimidate lowers physical attack. This little dark dragon can start off super cute, but by the time it's evolved, it can look even more menacing. I could see if we could get a dark type gym leader using this pseudo legendary as his ace in the hole. Well, those were my opinions on the top 5 possible pseudo legendary for the Gala region. Do you agree with my list? What do you think the typings could possibly be? Share with me in the comments below the pseudo legendaries you would like to see as well. If you enjoyed the video, why not leave a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on, that way you never miss an upload. If you want to support me further, consider following my Twitch where I stream a lot of Pokemon content and all kinds of Nintendo content like shiny hunting, fire emblem, Zelda, all the other really cool stuff. Want to support me further further and gain cool perks? Check out my Patreon. Fly Jubilee, Dana Leone, Lady Crimson, Pal491, The Lazy Leo, Matthew Young, Awesome Lego, and Jarrett Weez Austin did, and I want to thank them personally for going above and beyond. It means the world to me. I think I'm wrapped this up though. I'm Mr. Gumbrand, and I will see you in the future for more awesome Pokemon content.